Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I would like to do a very quick Christmas video, um, when I still have about 10 minutes left of Christmas, um, just to um, look over the figures I got for, for Christmas. Um, so first let's look at this, I got um, the uh, Halloween 2 Michael Myers figure. It's a really nice figure, it's got lots of awesome detail, it's a figure I've wanted for a while. And so it came with a lot of accessories and different heads, and this is sort of just sort of the way I've decided to pose it for now. But it's a really nice figure, and that, this pumpkin actually opens up and shows the skull, like in the, I think it's the opening credits where it does that. And I watched Halloween 2 quite recently for the first time, so I just, you know, it was, it's one of those things where you, when you've watched a movie, you just suddenly want a figure for it. And this that was the case for this one. Uh, I do prefer, my favourite design is uh, for the original Halloween, but they have not made a figure on that one yet. Uh, I'm not sure why, I think it might be some sort of um, issue um, to do with, like, the rights, but... Um, Hopefully they'll get it soon because I really like um, I would really love that figure. Um, we also I also got the McFarlane um, uh, DC Multiverse two pack of um, Dawnbreaker and Hal Jordan, um, and um, I never actually got the original release of Dawnbreaker. That's a figure I um, almost got on many occasions, but just never did for um, whatever reason. And I'm really happy I sort of waited because now it came in the two pack and I really wanted this Green Lantern who has not come out um, single. Sort of as a, sing as a single release, um, they have come out with a um, I forgot, I forgot what his name is, but the other um, Green Lantern, and I might get that one at some point. And I was actually thinking about getting that one soon, but um, it's actually coming about. It's, it's actually going to be re-released like the exact same figure in the new um, Builder Figure Wave. So I might as well wait for that and see if I want to actually build that figure, depending on what it looks like in person. But um, yeah, it's really cool. I love this sort of um, sort of bat thing coming out here. It's a really awesome looking figure, and it also feels really good. Um, and uh, it's sort of like it's quite hard plastic, which some of the more modern um, McFarlane figures they're just like completely rubber. For some of them, and it's it's good for some of it. Like the, they definitely can do a lot with rubber, but um, I do like a proper plastic sort of figure. But um, and uh, here is Hal Jordan, and this is easily my favorite Green Lantern, uh, like ever probably. I mean, um, I don't I actually have don't think I own one, but um. I'm saying from pictures, um, I did not like the DZ Icons one, I always thought it looked weird, and the head was really thin and small um, and stuff, and then the NECA one, of course, I mean of course that looks absolutely amazing, but I have to admit, I like this figure, I mean, definitely the, the Batman and Superman from NECA are superior to most, pretty much every McFarlane release, even though McFarlane has come close on some of them, and has, does do some amazing stuff, the NECA ones, which I do not own because they're so expensive now, but I would love to own one day, they are still look amazing especially that Hal Jordan but um I think this one actually might, I might prefer this one to be honest it just it looks a bit more I don't know it's I don't know, I'd say classic but it's got lots of extra added detail but it just it just looks so good I love the face sculpt on it it just looks so awesome I don't know it's hard to explain how just how good I think it looks I just uh, it's a really good sort of modern take of sort of a classic suited character and of course the base I'm just not too bothered about I think it's a bit of a, it looks cool from like, if you look, get close and look at all the awesome details, but if you just look far away, it's just a big sort of green um, mess that is just taking up space, and I'm just not too bothered by it, so I'll probably wait to play it with them, but I might just play it somewhere in some other way, but anyway, um, oh, I also like the DC Essentials one of um, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, I've always wanted that figure, but I have, have literally haven't seen it being sold for years on eBay at all, and I, I check quite often. Um, it just it just has never come up even for extreme prices like the extreme prices I've seen Superman go for, which gone up to like two hundred, which is ridiculous, especially because I really want that figure. But um, yeah, anyway, that figure looked really cool, especially the head sculpt on that. Even though this one is a great sort of like more realistic looking head sculpt for Green Lantern, that one on the, the um, Essentials one is sort of my perfect sort of comic book, more cartoony looking head sculpt. It just it looks really good, but. I, I, I'm still really happy owning this figure. It's definitely sort of a um, if you don't own a Green Lantern and you really want uh, just a classic Green Lantern, uh, you can get this one or the other. But following one, both are really cool. And uh, I think that's really it for what I got for figures. Not too much this year, but I do have one more thing coming. Uh, another thing I got that I'll show off quickly is the Tally Hall um, Marvin's, Mar Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum um, uh, vinyl which is a, a, I really love the band um, Tally Hall, so it's really cool to get this. Um, I It's not exactly the actual um, uh, vinyl I wanted, I wanted the one that had this on the, oops. I wanted the one that had that on the actual 
vinyl, but it sold out, and I, this was literally the last one left, and last time I checked beforehand, it had all of them, so it was kind of horrible, but, um, yeah, it's still cool to have it, I mean, I won't be, I don't think I'll be taking out this thing, I really want to know which band member's colour is on the inside, because all ra it's apparently all random, I, I didn't, the thing is, I kind of don't want to open it, because then I'd have to get rid of the sticker, and then I, if I got, you know, um, Joe Harley, I'd be so happy, if I got Andrew, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy actually, he's definitely my second favourite, if I got Zubin, I think I'd be, I think I'd just accept it, and still be happy, but if I got, if I got um, Rob, I think I'd be probably most disappointed, not because I don't like him, I think he does some good stuff, but also he's probably my, just my least favourite member in terms of what he does, like some of the songs he does, and then, um, uh, what's his name, uh, I just, <laughs> my brain has gone dead, trust me, I know his name, but um, yeah, anyway, I probably will, I, I wouldn't mind, I guess I wouldn't mind it, it's, it's, it's a fine colour, it's just um, not my favourite member, um, and that's what I got there, and then finally, for sort of nerdy stuff, I got a um, hoodie with Frankenstein on it, which you see there, it's a bit hard to see, I can't really show it properly. But anyway, I really like it. It's a really cool hoodie. And that's pretty much what I got. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a very good Christmas and got some really cool stuff. You can put in the comments what you got. Um, I'm sure it's awesome. Uh, anyway, guys, um, happy Christmas. Sorry this is so late. This might even be, um, might even be 12 by now. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.